So this story is very near and dear to my heart. As everybody knows at Fox 4, I've got a, a farm of my own at my house with three dogs and a cat. But for us to talk a little bit more about all the efforts that we've seen after Hurricane Ian, it's being felt more so on the home front. And when you talk about a home, it can be filled with animals as well. And that's why the Animal Refuge Center is joining me today. Rob, we spoke with you a little bit earlier talking about the efforts that we've been doing since the hurricane. Talk a little bit more about what we've got here. We've got Zeus joining us, just one of the many animals looking for a home. Well, we're, we're just excited to see what you're going to do for us because we know a big surprise is coming our way. That's why our board and our employees and volunteers are here. Now, the Animal Refuge Center is the lar largest no-kill shelter in southwest Florida. So if we take an animal in, it is going to live with us until we can find it a forever home or through the rest of its life. We're busy at taking care of these animals, getting them adopted. You know, pets like Zeus. Zeus is one of our older residents. He's been here for a few years. Great dog. Needs to be alone in a home with no other dogs, but if he's your dog, he's going to sit up on the couch, nestle next to you, and watch TV or a movie with you and just be a great comfort and, and friend at home. And that's why we've got a whole shelter full of cats and dogs that can just fulfill your life and add something more to it. Uh, and we've just been we've been doing that uh, for almost 30 years and we're glad to keep you know moving forward and doing more of it. And, and let's talk about the process of adoption. You know, walk us through that if somebody's watching this right now and is looking at Zeus or wanting to know about all the animals that you guys provide, you know, what's the process in making sure we can adopt? So you go to AnimalRefugeCenter.com and you can fill out an application right on our website and get pre-approved and we have photos of many of the residents that are available for adoption so you can kind of pre-scan our dogs or cats that are there for you you know we encourage you to then come on out Sunday through Wednesday so Wednesday where we're closed Monday and Tuesday so come out any other day between 10 and 4 we'll give you a tour we'll show you the animals we'll give you a chance to bring your dogs out and introduce them if you're ado adopting another dog so that they can make sure that they get along uh, and we just encourage you to do that uh, animalrefugecenter.com fill out that application let's get that process started. Well, Rob, you know, not just the part of the family here at Fox 4, but also the Scripps Howard Fund is doing everything they can for the community after Hurricane Ian. And because of what you guys have done so far and what you will be doing in the future, we want to present you guys with $6,500 check right here talking about all the love and support that you guys have provided here throughout Southwest Florida. Oh, that is awesome. All, for all of us that are here, let me just say thank you. I mean, Absolutely. They're saying it. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that donated. This makes a big difference for us. We've had so many expenses after the hurricane to clear away the debris, the trees, to take care of the, the dogs and the cats that were still here, fix our fences, things like that, and this is going to be a big help. And, and you were talking, at, obviously, as a 501c3, you rely heavily on you know the funds as well as donations. Talk about what this money as well as future money will do for this place. We are entirely supported by grants and donations, so it is the general generosity of the people who love and support the ARC that keep us in business. So this allows us to continue forward, to grow staff, to even grow. We have visions of, of developing all 20 acres that are out here for us. We're only halfway there. We continue to add buildings so that we can bring in more cats, more dogs, more staff, and, and serve our community and stay the largest no-kill shelter and fulfill our mission. Well, Rob, thank you so much. And while you're at home, go ahead and take a look at your screen because we want to thank all the viewers like you. And the Scripps Howard Fund has already raised more than two $250,000 to help Southwest Florida recover. And now you're seeing it for yourself in action in the different ways it makes. Of course, if you're interested, you can go ahead and donate by opening the camera on your phone and scanning the QR code on your screen. You can also text Fox 4 to 50155 or go to fox4now.com slash gives. All those donations will go to our community partners, helping people who need it most. Of course, thank you so much for joining us here on Fox 4 Morning News. And of course, thank you guys here at ARC and all the things you've done as well as Southwest Florida continues to try to recover and rebuild. We hope to see it all fixed and renewed here very soon. For now, live here at the ARC Center, John Barron, Fox 4.